Hi, uh, it's Jeff Fletcher here with my, what's the fourth draft now? The fourth draft we've done in the Forgotten Realms, Hand of Vecna, beginning of combat on your turn, equip creature or a creature you control name that Vecna gets, plus X plus X, X is on a card in your hand. Equip pay a life for each card in your hand, or equip two. Okay, that seems pretty powerful. Um, we've got a Grim Bounty, which I've now got in... What's this? Uh, this is good. The contact that other plane. Grim Bounty might be the best card here, but I'm a little bit excited to try this. So it's going to be quite a bit of plus X plus X. Um, yeah, it could, it could be a lot. Yeah, I think you want to play this with Life Linkers for sure, and you can you can make a make a mess of them with this, so probably in like a black white or at least a white deck for the life linkers, they seem to have a bunch. Uh divine spine that. What's Os Oswald? Fiddlebender, weird. Um it's a two two for two. Second artifact. So you can muck around with what artifacts you have in play. Could be useful, not sure it will be. I would like to, as I say, get into white with this, but maybe also green for trample is a possibility. Um, or any double strike creatures obviously are superb with this. That's the kind of stuff we want to put with it. Um, this may be okay. Is a 2-2 two -two for two if nothing else. And it cuts white off. There isn't like a lot that's in this pack. I think the Circle of Moon Druid is actually quite legit. There's a trashy pack. Uh, Kalane is good, but it sets me in two colours. So, yeah, let's just take this and I think we're okay. So, Cleric Crest is very strong. I want to be in a life gain deck, which I do want to be in for the hand anyway. Wizard hand size is good purely because it draws two cards. <coughs> Excuse me, after you paid four mana, but it doesn't yet do anything. Um, the final stage is quite good though. I feel that like we could take the white card again, and then white's pretty thoroughly cut at this point. Excuse me, back there. Although I don't have any particularly exciting white cards yet, so you know, what's this saying? I mean, this would work well if we were able to assemble some kind of an artifact deck. I'm not really sure how realistic that is. My suspicion is not very. Um, Spoils of the Hunt goes in like a life gain deck, so that could that could work. This Igneous Smith will probably table. Spoils is... I mean, Gloomstalker is actually fine. What if I just took Gloomstalker? It does work with hand if we're able to complete any dungeons. Don't really know if we'll be able to, but yeah, I don't think spoils is that much better. But you know what? If if I tell the players downfield for me, just just don't play white. It's but out of white. Problem is, it seems the players upfield for me are cutting out white. Um, when Cradle of Baldur's Gate, it's combat damage for player. That player loses a life, mills a card, and you gain a life in the square one. When you check, you may pay two if you do this. It's pretty cool. Just doesn't work. What I've got this Albert is very late, and I'm just going to take it. That that is a pretty late Albert. Um, no idea why that's still in the pack, really, other than maybe people didn't want to play green, which seems a bit crazy. I think you meet in the tavern, Steve Spoils the Hunt is fine. Plus two, two Trample and Tap is actually kind of good. Um, it's kind of cool, but no. Um, yeah, you meet in the tavern could be legit, or Spoils the Hunt. It's a little bit more volatile, but if this card's good, it's very good. I use it. The removal's pretty good too, to be honest. But let's let's try that out. I haven't tried it yet. Aha! Prosperous Innkeeper. That works. Yeah, all right. Keen for that. I mean, that's going to go very well with Cleric Craft. I suppose what you also want to do is keep the number of cards in their hand pretty high. I'm hoping we'll be able to draft all the white cards coming uh, next pack. So this can gain two life, destroy an enchantment. It's a pretty weak card. Maybe Neverwinter Triads is better. 
Um, I mean, if we had a lot of stuff that cared about the life gain, it would get significantly better. But I, I don't yet. Whereas the Dryad, yeah, sure, we'll take that. A little more powerful, I think. Potion of Healing, probably not bad. Yeah, this is something uh, the Fiddlebender can actually smash a Potion of Healing and then get the Hand of Vector. I could, I could be down for trying out that interaction. Yeah, it makes me sad that we, we actually haven't tabled that other artifact card now. But I, I still don't think we probably play enough artifacts to make it regularly be able to hit. Prosperous Innkeeper is pretty good. I think one of my losses was to, was to a really crazy Prosperous Innkeeper based deck. And I've got a couple of things that do go well with it. Secret Door is notably an artifact, but I'm, I'm very locked into green now. I think this is a pretty good mix. Why you trample? Woof, that's kind of cool. Doesn't have haste though. Um, Bruin is very good. Priest of Ancient Law is just freaking excellent because it can trips. It's probably the pick because I don't really want to have to splash red, although Bruin is excellent. That sounds cool, but I think two, like if it's just said two or three, it'd be about the same card. And then it can it can scale occasionally, so maybe it's better, but it's, you know, I don't think it's that exciting. Sylvan Shepherd's pretty decent as well. We do need to get some of the life link payoff cards though, so need to be on the lookout for those. I think Null Hunter's good. Would I want a second cleric class? Yeah, yeah, I think we are working towards being able to gain a lot of life. And let's let's go on and I kind of like it when synergistics synergy based decks go all in because it makes them much more unique but you're going to have more unique interesting times if you've got like a heavy synergy based deck than something that's really standardized yeah i've seen outlander be pretty good it's a cheapish creature silver shepherd's not bad probably can pass on the delver's torch I really want more of these priests, owl bears. I want the unicorns that are going to gain the bonus. I want to get the uncommon green white card. Now we're going to be gaining hopefully a lot of life. Just trigger twice. If you would gain that life, so it's not two times, it doesn't make you gain a additional, which is a bit of a shame. Portable hole was quite good, but I do think here yeah, I'm just looking for steadfast paladin. As one of the things I really want to do is put the Hand of Vector on a Steadfast Paladin. The plus two mace ain't bad, but yeah, you cannot beat the Priest of Ancient Law. And that's my buddy just... Oh, big gap between picks, so I thought another pack would have rolled around. Pack two, pick five, there we are. Nothing's nothing's coming from the other side of the draft. Here we go. Ooh, that's a prosperous innkeeper. We'd be very interested in that. Yeah, it's way better than Druid class. Remember, just not being very good. Like this, this innkeeper seems legit. Um, I liked playing that ally a lot previously. Plus two mace is good, but. I think like we're we're not yet very heavily involved in the dungeon, but I, I think having the planar ally just gives you an option to keep pushing in there. It's also good carrier of hand of Vecna because it's got flying, and we're likely to be able to generate long games where the opponent can't win for multiple turns. I think that's that's a pretty likely thing that our deck can do. It's relatively good in a stall out with stuff like meet the tavern and can chill. So. Gloomstalker for me would be an easy cut at the moment. I think Fiddlebender might be alright. I don't know how many cleric class you need. My suspicion is two is the limit, but I 
I mean, it's got actually it's got a pretty cool end state, so maybe we can make it work. I do like that end on. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the option of Bruenna than have a dwarf champion that I really just don't care about. Uh, the cleric is fine if you like that kind of thing. The problem with this cleric class is we have to sink quite a lot of mana into it before it does its thing. You've got to put four before you start getting the counters, so it's a little heavy on the investment. When it starts going though, man, it really... It really gets going when it gets going. Second equipment. The tension of this deck is that I want a lot of creatures for you meet the tavern and the triggers on Prosperous Innkeeper, but then I've also got like a bit of a support card sub theme that's already stretching my cards. I have found a second hand of Vecna though, which is insane. Let's just have a quick look what we're passing up for. I'm pretty sure this is just correct. It is legendary, which is mildly annoying. This isn't that good though. Um, yeah, I think we've got to take the second hand of Vecna. Oh, we got Dritz as well. Oh, I haven't seen White Dragon before. When White Dragon enters, tap top creature opponent controls. So just as a, a frost breath. I think Dritz is better, yeah, because it's two creatures, isn't it? So it's going to trigger Innkeeper twice and blah blah blah. Purple. This this pack, I probably wish I could just stop on this pack and and slam it. Lena Alloy or a Priest of Ancient Lore, well, the Priest is just a little better, I think. I wouldn't mind playing the Alloy actually, but given that one of the things I want to do is keep cards rolling into my hand, keep my card count really high, um, yeah, that's just doing the things that I want. It's spinning my, my wheels so I can start paying four on my Cleric class. So I can go like, Cleric class, two drop, Priest of Ancient Lore, tick up the Cleric class, having filled the ground with a bunch of crap. And then we're on to like blah blah blah. We can just go up the chain then and win the game at that point. Just don't care about any of these cards. Um, yeah, another Dormling Ring of Cleric that I won't probably play. Um, yeah, Priest of Ancient Law. One second. And I'm back in the room. Just check my messages. Four Priest of Ancient Lore. This, this is like a lot of my good decks have four of these, and they just seem so strong. Uh, there's another post of healing. It is a combo piece for me, but I don't know how many that I want. I only really want to fetch one hand of Vecna. There's a Rangers Longbow available. I think I might even ha already have one on the board. I do. It's a relatively good card. Sure, I'll get another one. The Null Hunter. It's not exactly doing what my deck wants. I think the Outlander is fine. I suppose the Null Hunter does work well with the Hand of Vector. So sadly, I've got none. No Unicorns and no Green White Life Gain plus Counters. So none of my stuff pluses Counters on its own, which is a bit lame. I really hope that would be the case. Um, would absolutely take a, a Hill Gordon right. That was my last possible pick for that card, or... Do I see? Yeah, yeah, that's that's big eight. So I'm only getting tables from now on in. Um, Gloom Stalker absolutely is up for a placement. Yeah, I think, I think Gloom Stalker and Neverwinter Dryad are probably just the worst cards in my deck, but they're, they're like absolutely fine. So many of my cards cantrip, that's six cantrips, seven cantrips right there. So my deck should be able to churn um, very easily. I really want another Neverwinter Dryad. What about a Blink Dog? Could be pretty good with Hand of Vecna. I don't know. I, don't, I still don't think I want it because a 1-1. One, one, for three is just not a great deal. Um, I'm not very convinced by it, but fine. I think it looks like absolutely nothing's tabling at all. I 
the last thing I'll be checking like what my what my creature count is. I suspect it, it it does look pretty high, so I've got one non creature, two, three. Yeah, I haven't got many non creatures, so I think we're gonna be alright on that front. It possibly means we can play the additional cleric class if we like. Just to always have it, or maybe ha having second copies is fairly strong. Or well, we could just go grab an equipment of, of some kind. Or even play a Dawnbringer Cleric if we had to. Oh, so this is 40 right here, is that? That's a 9 eggs, that seems like. Yeah, with Gloomstalker probably being the worst card in the deck, right? Because it's, it's unlikely we're going to complete any explorations. I think just a 1 3 for 2 is just a little poor, and. We don't have, like, we need to get a cleric class going before we get significant life gain benefits. Delver's Torch is probably the most interesting card that I'm not playing. Um, that would let me get to seriously get down into the dungeon a bit more. I just, I don't, I don't think we need any of those things. So, how many non-creature spells do we have? Let's move that over here. That over here. Those. So that is seven non creatures and sixteen creatures, which seems really strong. So you meet in the tavern is likely to produce pretty good results drawing between two and three cards for four mana or buffing the whole team for a win. And also we're gonna be hitting our land drops off most of those. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything that we'd want to move. We could cut a potion of healing. Although Oswald can turn them into Hands of Vecna. What we cut it for, like a cleric class? I think it's probably fine. I want to get a game done of this and then uh, I might just chill and do something else for a bit. Oh, well, that's a straight mod again. Well, okay, so we're not going to get green in the game. That's that's how this is going to be. Uh, we could mulligan probably a planes. Yeah, I think I think it's a planes because we have a cantripping two drop and another two drop, and we can turn a get a potion of healing, get get some stuff going. So. I think I want to get the Paladin down first, do I? Yeah. Yeah, just try and get a bit of life at the start of the match. We can, we've got enough to construct a win from what we've got, so let's hope that we legit can. Um, Doing that one, are we with the red spot at the end? All right, fine. All right, that's got that's quite everything going a little better. Let's go. Cleric class. Oswald. And we can potion the healing. And then. Sack it to get the uh, get the big equipment for us. He's going into his dungeon pretty hard. Just gotta watch out for that. Each player loses two life. Yeah, we're, we're good at losing life though. Adex really good at losing life. We don't mind that at all.
that is pretty savage. So now we pay four life to get it on here. Oh, that's what? Okay, right, right. So we have to wait. I was like, why hasn't it got its bonus? But it gets it now. And then we just go in for a big mad lad smash and then game seven. Oh, he jumped already. That is, that's absolutely disgusting. He already had to jump. I'm not even going to play a card. I just, I just want a steadfast paladin to smash him all the way, all the way up. That's the play night ally. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll grow this guy because I don't want to. I'm surprised he's hitting with Ranger's Hawk and he's chump blocking. Like that's that seems idiotic to to do what he's doing. Okay, so he can make playing the ally not able to be blocked. Can't block you anyway, man. I don't know what you what you're waiting for. Just get your get your little venture done. I'll give two life away. It's fine. Then we'll just get on with crushing you. Well, at some point we're going to have to lose the, the Paladin, but that's fine. Climbing. People are so bad, they just throw their stuff away. Um, like it's just going to come back in a hurry. Let's look at a creature back. Oh, so we can get Steadfast Paladin back, that's revolting. Um, yes, yeah, so we just bang in with both, right? maximum damage. What's he what's he even got me? What can this guy do? Not a lot is my is my opinion on that matter. Yeah this is this is gross. Well, I think my opponent's been like okay during the match. Gonna go and block a ball, you lose a life, miller card, some stuff happens in short. And then I'll get out of the death touchy boy. So I can move this across to the owl bear if I want to. And we can play Priest of Ancient Lord before combat if that's something we'd like to do as well. Um, I think he has to block the, the Owlbear, he's going he's gonna to just die. Um, Yep, all the sack, all aboard for the massive attack. Thanks, opponent. There's no need to move the hand yet because it doesn't do anything in my opponent's turn, so I can just wait until my turn now there's nothing he can do to stop me. Yeah, I mean this is this is all nice, but it's totally irrelevant. 
this is insane. Like, that was actually insane. That start. Yeah, I mean, I think the best chance he has is decking me this game. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can choose how you die, but you're gonna you're gonna take a monstrous amount of damage. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I had fun. Look at how insane Ellie Wick looks. She's just got like an absolutely like she's fried out of her mind look on her face. I don't know what the deal is with that. It is pretty crazy. She's a very crazy lady. I think that's uh, that's safe to say. I actually really like these lands. I think I'm gonna play out a few more breaches before getting my big my big equip on this one. Get it now and just equip it, but I think I think I like getting the the priest down first and just dying a bit of an assault. Maybe I shouldn't, like what if my opponent killed Oswald? Then I then I'd probably regret things, but now we're good. Because the thing is, now we get a surprise attack on. Unless he does kill Oswald, he 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 must suspect it's just a two-two. My deck, though, I would think. The hobgoblin captain comes to play. Oh no, attack. The thing is, like, what's great about this is like, that, that, that place would normally be a fine place for me to attack, but I absolutely don't need to attack into that. I'll just leave it all to my opponent. I could have attacked with Priest of Ancient Lore, to be fair. Probably would be reasonable. But I'd just rather trade it, if I can. Oh, there's all the things that I need, so... There's just so much value. I, I don't know if there's a sweeper, like a <laughs> kind of infest type of thing. I hope not, because that would be very bad for me here. But yeah, we'll give the opponent. Let's just get me a venture into the dungeon. Do I want that? Yeah, you know what? I don't even care. Even if he pops Oswald here, it's not a big deal. And he, he might well not. He might well choose to go for the Outlander because he's letting me venture. I'll take the take a scry probably. Is the scry good? Okay. Oh, I still got the trigger. Um. Yeah, we'll take the scry. It's the most impactful one-off event. I can get from the start. There's a hand of Vecna on top. I wish I knew how he blocks now. I wish I knew how he blocks. I'm going to leave it on top. I think it's absolutely fine for me to draw it. It does stop me using the healing potion, but I don't think I even care. Alright. Right, yeah, now I'm glad. I'm glad that I did that. Ooh, Grim Wanderer is going to hit. He's going to hit pretty hard.
smart. Clever girl. Let me go. He's gonna hit for eight, is he? Alright, alright, that's that's pretty impressive stuff from the opponent. Oof. Yeah, what a what a what a hard hit. Turn around a real winning position, but he he burnt a lot of cards in one turn as well. We'll just keep trying to win the race then if that's if that's how the opponent's gonna play. I might not even block the Scrim Wanderer if it comes at the Hill Giant. I don't know. Probably block the Hobgoblin Captain. I may not, just... I don't even know what this does. What the hell is this? When it attacks, create a taps and attacking token that's a copy of... Choose a target creature you control. That's pretty powerful. Honestly, it's pretty dang powerful. So we get we get something pretty nice. Gain life. Yeah, honestly, as long as I can kill Delina, then I don't mind. And I'll I'll just if if my opponent wants to give me their stuff, for my hill giant, I'm fine. I will take their their stuff and try it. Oh my God. So they're like, now nah, we, this is, they're making a stand, they want to win right now. And gain three life and be at 20. So they get like a Grim Wanderer, maybe they get a second Grim Wanderer. This can, yeah, it's anywhere in the top four, so that it keeps making potentially a lot of Grim Wanderers. If he plays a card that lets him roll the dice twice here, this could be frightening. He could get pretty close to a win if he was, he'd have to be lucky, but it could happen. I think it was it was probably right of him to gamble on that because he needs the Grim Wanderer. The Goblin's just a bit more damage, or another. Yeah, I think I think that wasn't bad of him. He he must know like he's probably dead next turn, but we'll see. Kick in the door. And no walls can block you. Oh, you done actually one of the goblin, okay. Sure. You just gotta throw your big gamble, haven't you, man? I don't think you got much more than that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we didn't hit that sort of lead. So we definitely just wanna block. Delina. I hope for the trade. Took a bunch. Bye bye token. It's a little annoying, but we'll still get to venture into the dungeon, I think. So does he. He's not completed one yet, though. Oh, so this, like, if he does get to the dungeon, though, this will actually give him the the flip. Okay, okay, that's annoying. We get a hand of Vecna out. He's probably going to trade us with the seven six if we go in. So I think we just want to maybe attack with a flyer. <coughs> Now we want to play a Hand of Vecna. Get the 1-1 one, one Goblin, please. That is kind of useful. And then we'll help to close him in two hits. Um, he's quite close to getting the dungeon, so if he does... Playing that ally will die, so I hope he doesn't. So then we gotta we gotta find another little bit of a plan to get the game finished. I think I don't want to trade my seven six for his six four as that's it's such a big downgrade in stats, it's a big miss. So he's had to use that, that's nice, because then 
it didn't stack. So that was that was important. He didn't get to ultimately use the precipitous drop to get rid of our guy. He had to pay another card in as well. That's cool. I haven't even seen that card before. And it's a common. So now it comes down to what can the opponent produce. What we got? Boosted goblins. This big guy comes. Where does it get its thing from? I don't think I can take this. It's a little bit irritating. Um, but my opponent has to jump, so. But then I have to jump. It's annoying. If I. I could take nine, Jesus. Um, that's actually 11, so he'd have the last two, but yeah, he'd have to, he'd have to jump with some stuff. I think we do this. This has got a lot closer than I hoped, to be honest. Um, So he probably trades the Hobgoblin here for the 5-4 and chumps the token, which gives him a chance, but I don't have much choice about it. Yeah. Might as well pay mana to get the hand equipped. It's getting tight, it's getting very tight. If he plays a goblin, that could be messy. This is really tight. I hadn't, hadn't expected this. You know, try and throw a block. Okay, I have to draw a non-land card. Well, I, I have to draw a creature here. Oh, and that can ping me. Got treasures. Okay. Cleric class. You. I don't have enough mana. No, maybe I do. Okay, let's try. Maybe I uh, maybe I do. No, it's fucking ten mana. I die. How, when are these? Oh, this creates goblins. Why didn't he play that first? All oh, right, and then this is ten mana that I needed, not eight. Good God. I would have only had nine in the game anyway, so it doesn't matter that I didn't make land drops. I got beat. Let's do one more before I have a break then. Jeez. That's a rough end. I just, uh, I do have a few blanks. I just didn't draw enough of my 16 creatures in the game. Like, they, they just weren't blowing. All I needed was pretty much one of anything. And it wasn't flowing for me. It was very close. Um, should I change the last blocky decision and stuff. I, I don't think so ultimately. Because the problem is if I lose my 7-6 there, I then only have very small creatures on board who aren't doing much when they attack anyway and my opponent has threatening attacks. I can swing in and he can still trade his 4-2 um, with my best remaining guy. And my other guy has one turn for anyway and then he'll just play his goblin cards and win. So I gave myself the best chance that I could have. Um, it just didn't pan out. This hand seems pretty good. Yeah, there were so many ways that I could have won, but I just did not. And that cleric class ability, there it is. Level 3 would have absolutely got me through the game, but again, that was another one that wasn't, that wasn't firing. I think he kind of got me that big attack turn that I made. Maybe I just shouldn't have shouldn't have ever made it. But he had so many just little bits of removal in that. It was, it was crazy. Um, very impressive on that turn. I didn't think he could do nearly as much as he did. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking some damage a little bit here. I think. 
and then trying to just pop off with I'll I'll use my cleric class next turn. Ooh, that's very powerful. Ah, oh, horrid, horrid, horrid. Do I block both? Oh, that's so horrible. What a mess. What a mess. That's messed me up. Yeah, this card is nuts. Do that into Dritz, and Dritz is going to be a pretty good turn. Like that's that's good, and then we can resummon Dritz maybe and see where we go from there. We have treasure. We can maybe make Dritz. Oh my God! Okay. Uh, you reek with aren't I generous? Well, that that's very nutty. Let's take the damage. Terrifying. Oh, this he can. This is horrendous. No box. He didn't. Okay, so he doesn't understand how his own cards work. That's maybe going to help me, but still, um, freaking gross. Yeah, because he could have. I I believe. Um, yeah, he could have sacked a spider, put a loyalty back onto Lolf, and just drawn a, a card of it for two life, but still, that would have been pretty strong, I think. Maybe he just absolutely wanted to make sure I could kill it. Good god, I feel like I've played this guy before, but this time he's got Lolf. Fuck me. That's just rude. Yeah, let's make him have to sack a bunch of boys. Sack that outlander right. Yeah. Slay our enemy. Oh, he's still dying. I thought he would have sacked a spider as well, to be honest, but it is what it is. Yeah, and then he just pumps out infinite shit, and I could probably never beat that. Um, him, 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 him. Bring back the priest, it's gonna sling some counters, or we could play. I think we've got to play the planar ally. He has reached though, fuck's sake, and he can. It's just gross. He gets cards for life every turn, and it's just disgusting. Um, we'll at least tax him with Dritz, just force him to lose a token or something. Yeah, there goes your zombie. Oh, but then that, that gets it to four and it'll make more spiders. What vileness. Um, Couldn't make any of these now. Um, I actually, what about a Ricci? What about a Ricci? <laughs> maybe, maybe, just maybe. I've got to try and believe, but this is a freaking bad situation. So you go two spiders. Draw off your deck, go absolutely freaking nuts. We could tax him a spider every turn though, or more, like it will it will My go will up over time. Be 
Just depends what's in its hand, I suppose. I'm testing it, I don't mind that. What's what pass he on? So he's doing the big dungeon, okay? I really don't care about Scry 1, so that's not the worst. That's one card that's not too bad yet. I don't like that. Don't touch my stuff, man. Leave that alone. Not even gonna block. Definitely not blocking. You can sack your shit, brother. Oh, you don't have your sack region anymore. Right, I might have broken out of this because he doesn't have a sack. Yeah, okay, I kinda have. That's a big deal. Get this all built up. Check a lot. Come on, give me lolf, bro. Don't be a dick about it. Okay. Gonna give me a wolf. Alright, we accept that. A lot of shit on the other side. Oh yes, I know the knowledge you seek. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't give you free zombies. I know it's not going to be good eventually, but I can try. Right, I have to kill that, obviously. Um, how much reach has this fucker got? That's crazy. This is reach, this is reach, this is reach. Let's keep growing then. So we get, if we were 9-9, nine, nine, four, 3 4 one two. he could block us with everything. Sure, fine, I'll take that. Double strikes, we almost just start going base, but yeah, I really want to see the back of Lord that can fuck off. It's an obnoxious piece of crap. I'll scry one. I can gain a life. Yeah, why the fuck not? Can he even do ten? Yeah, he can do ten. Let's make this I'll build this up so it's annoying to his tokens because at some point he's going to test me. He's getting a friend. What I That's demand. cost him two things, but he can spawn more spiders, I suppose. I will cull the weak. We're at 15. Kind of holding on. I think it's very powerful, but it'll be shit if it dies at, at this point. But this is my opponent's deck is super powerful as well. It really is crazy powerful. Okay, I don't mind that. He's got a lot of do nothing creatures though. But this this combo that he set up at the beginning of the game is bananas. No, and that triggers all those fuckers. Right. The thing is, I can block hard this turn. I can block as much as I want. Have to kill Dryder. Kill that. These spiders are kind of free at some point. Yeah.
Oh, it's got menace. Oh, that's annoying. Do I just take the six then? Jeez. Yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. Subservience will be rewarded. Yeah, fucking hell. Um, what a horror. Uh. I just want to, you know, kill that with that anyway, so let's build up to... <sighs> I can't afford another land. I might be dead this turn, but no, I don't think I'm dead this turn, but I really can't afford another land. Well, my opponent's like on relatively low life, so maybe we can force something. It looks like we're going to get beat, but this this is absurd. Take four, go to seven. If he can just stop rolling on this a load though. I will aren't I generous? We had to kill that. Gotta hope that low rolls. My will cannot be denied. Just frickin' bananas. And I don't think he can beat Planar Ally yet, like even with all the first but he can just uh, can now lose a non spider which is more potent. What's the next thing? So create a treasure, target breach, you can't attack us next turn. That would have been more useful before. But maybe it could save our life with it. How many of these fuckers are there? A lot. Um, What if we just don't attack? So he keeps a spider though if we don't attack, so I think I need to go in. It doesn't keep a spider though. That's what it is. Pretty sure he blocks. Hang on. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can't do all the things yet, so we have to pick this mode. And the creature we don't want to attack will be a spider. We should have honestly picked the tap spider, shouldn't I? Okay. Well, that's a surprise. I guess it all just goes back on, so yeah, all of it just goes back. A gift in exchange for loyalty. Okay, it goes on top. Okay, I can cope with that. That's, that part is fine. Don't think he's got enough to kill me this turn. No, I can throw some blocks. It's getting close though. Null Hunter, that's fine. The cards he got through. 
four more gold. Scatter gets buffed. I think I'm going to just take six. Subservience will be rewarded. Oh, yeah, this, this card is oppressive as enemies. fuck. Hmm. Okay, this is a lot of life gain triggers. I can cast that and go, you meet the town. Um, this is like a bit of a fucked up game overall. I, I think I'm still going to lose, but we're having fun. Uh, Is there any, I don't think there's any way I win with a meet the tower the next turn, so I have to I have to cast it now. Well that is some cards. That's a lot. That's a lot. Like what's your opponent gonna do? If I if I hit with the outlander now, where are we in that dungeon? Um yeah, I feel like he'll just kill it. Like he, he can't gang block it that well, but um... oh, okay, we, he can't really gang block it. Uh, what do we do? We'd go at Lolf, but it's just going to tax him a zombie, so it's not worth it. Try and stay alive for one more turn. Jesus. Jesus wept. That, that is some power. Like, this guy's deck is so powerful. I cannot believe we're still in this. And this deck is incredible. Why are we gonna go fucking 1 3 with it? That's such a sad ending. Where's the plus one going? Odd as fighter. Right, fine. So we first strike this to death because that's fine. We. Around this round. I don't think there's any way he can squeeze more damage, so we can just go on that and kill that, and then go on. That's probably a limit to it. We don't need to engage with more, just in case as well. Let's fuck up the pump spider. He's going to lose two things. Do what I demand. I will get what I want. Yeah, you may do at some point, that's for sure. 18 to 16. We've got a lot of cards. We've just got nowhere breaking through this absolute mess. Um, we can push our dungeon on. My words Great are skeletons, that might be fine. Minds. Not again. You leave my dritzy boy alone, man. That's not even vaguely cool. I 
I don't even know how many times this is going to fire a lot. Let's use that one. I think I want this to fire on its own so it automatically goes into the dungeon and then we've got two more. And we can make an Albert. Tracks, this might be able to kill him. Actually, all I want is to draw... Yeah, that, that'll do me. I want a prosperous innkeeper and we can maybe go nuts. Alright. If I survive to the next turn, maybe my opponent's dead. I don't know. I feel like he should have killed more, because if he got to 8, he could ultimate this. Generous? Although that, that wouldn't make that big of a difference, actually. Although, mm, it might do. God, we're back at 17. Well, we might actually, I don't even want to say, we might actually have this. Like, we can, we can play the innkeeper, the innkeeper's going to throw triggers everywhere. The is going to go absolutely super saiyan and hopefully punch our opponent's eyeballs out. That's that's all I can hope for. Please don't have a kill for the owlbear, sir. Leave the owlbear alone. He's a lovely owlbear. What did he ever do anything to you? I'm probably going to take the damage here. Because I'm feeling like my opponent wants cards. So it's an opportunity to take 9 damage. My out there can hit pretty hard. Let's go no block. It's a little scary, but I think it's correct. The generous one. If I win this, this this is gonna be like an epic, epic, epic win. If it happens, let's have a look. So innkeeper. All counters from now on are just aiming at the owl there. That's all they wanna do. Then we go. Race of Ancients. This is pretty ludicrous. I've got a hand of Vecna I can just transfer across. Wow! <laughs> that is epic! That was actually epic! Um, yeah, this Albert. because um, when I adventure, I can attack an adventure, and then the Albert's going to see two creatures come into play, which is going to get one, two, three, four triggers, and then we're going to go to an astronomical life total, then our Albert's going to get like another, it had another two, so it's 20, 20, and the four, 24, 24, and I just want to have a look at this battlefield and see what was going to happen. Um, so you had one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Yeah, so then we easily exceed his entire life total and toughness and kill him. 
that is possibly the most epic match that I've ever played. So this was draft four. I'm going to keep that in my head. This was insane. Um, I'm really glad I fought to keep my deck alive because I really do believe it. This this should be a seven win deck. Oh, it's only on one loss, so I wouldn't have gone out. But damn, do I want to stick in and take this to seven. So thanks so much for watching. Catch you in a bit. Back with some more gameplay footage. Yeah, I'm going to keep this as a um, I'm going first, so I get to go Cleric Class into Oswald into Potion of Healing and then flip things out. Okay. Maybe not into Oswald just yet. Get the treasure. Get that active as soon as possible. Yeah, and he's only he's only play blue blue, so we can do that. We pop the treasure right now. I think so. Yeah, let's get this going as soon as possible, and then we can start like just flipping, gaining all the things. So. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. We're going to get the potion of healing down probably next and see if we can draw a white. That's just a straight scoop. I mean, I don't really know what he was doing, but this was an insane start. I think it would have beaten almost any deck that did very quickly have removal for it, so that's nice. Nice, easy win. Check my record. Yeah, I am recording. That's good. I need to change the settings on this microphone, it's not working the same since they did the update, I think it just picks up a little bit too high sometimes, even when I'm trying to be quite quiet, and I'll look around with it some, but they, they updated this and it's not as good as it was before. Um, I'm going first. That's nice. Um, yeah, never went and tried. Like, let's go. I like how many one drops this deck has. It's pretty nice. I don't know if I actually need to accelerate yet. I think I'd rather draw an additional card than accelerate, in actual fact. Because my next few turns are going to be just play probably Priest of Ancient Lord, go for Hand of Vecna and just equip it onto something. Maybe just go straight away on Hand. Yeah, you know what, that's, that's going to do a lot of damage. And that is big. My opponent immediately has to deal with a one drop that's super offensive. It, that even that can't do it. Oh, they're getting destroyed. Let's go for it. Yeah, I can still get this to a 6 6 next turn. I think they're probably just going to scoop. And this is pretty outrageous ball grab. Just immediately jump. Might as well play Fritz. It's going to still be a 5 5 next turn. That is absolute bull crap. What is this guy supposed to do? No one's deck can do 
like pretty much anything versus this. I don't think I even want to attack all of them, just keep cracking him with this and forcing him to trade. Yeah. Still get it to five next turn. Yeah, there's no way, man. There's no way. Oh, that's bonkers. This Vecna thing is just absolutely outrageous, and the fact that my deck has two of them. I haven't had a chance to use it like that before, but god damn. That's ruthless. I mean, I guess if you suspect a removal spell, but it helps that my opponent has sort of not been playing removal colours or stalled a little bit, so that's nice. A nice boost in a few very, very fast wins. We're going first. Slight bad hand here. I think it's fine as long as we draw Alan. We'll draw Forest straight away. Come on, Forest off the top. Forest off the top deck. I like Hand of Egner and Priest. We can probably make something happen here. So Pinot Noir. Okay. Appreciate that. Forest. Like an absolute boss. Oh, and this is gonna. I think I'm just gonna Vecna it straight away if he doesn't kill it. Because it's, it's hard for Red Deck to kill this, so if he makes a two power drop, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Hit this. Hit that. Pay four again. This is disgusting, and we get to enter into the dungeon. Well, I want. Do I think I take the life loss thing with him? Maybe just this, yeah, this seems good. Yeah, we'll take Cleric class. I guess if opponent throws a burn spell now, it might not be brilliant, but oh, five damage, that's quite strong. So he's just gonna straight race me, okay. No you don't. Into combat we go. I'll have a free goblin please, sir. Yeah, I don't think he can take this. We get to venture into the next part of the dungeon and... Yeah, I can probably even activate this venture next to the lose one game one to put a counter on something anyway. Maybe if he attacks, I can, I can basically just block at this point. I mean, I don't know what he'll make, but this is, this is a hard spot. Well, that's better, this seems to be working now. Must have better connection. That's pretty cool. Kind of wanted to buy the Beholder one of these. Maybe I just will. May cost a whole draft. I'll take. Okay, so who's who's throwing out the blockers? What's this? It's kinda good. Oh we got green. Okay, so I think the players to snap this off.
and then next turn yeah we'll fire like meet the tavern and we can't quite get to six for the next level at the draw card yeah, maybe we should have left it in like that but we might actually that's a point we fire this off and if we hit multiple cards which we easily could then we get to destroy him that's good pretty good at blocking him though See how we retro them. It has menace, so it's like fine, but nothing big. The first strike's nice though. Okay. Going on the menace. Alright, yeah, at this point. I'll give away those boys, that doesn't seem to matter to me. Giving us a goblin. Boy, let's see. What's in the graveyard? Can we do that? No, probably not a good idea. Alright, let's fire. Here we go, good top fight, please. That was ideal. I kind of want to draw forest here. Ooh, it's a little rough. I don't think he can kill me, but it's not utterly impossible. We definitely don't need any more power because it's instant effort now, so we just have to... Next next turn we immediately win the game, but there is this turn to cope with. He could haste something. The thing is, if he hastes something else, I can just block it if it's big. And if it's small, it doesn't matter, so it should be alright. Famous last words, but there's a big going on. Oh, okay. Dead yet? Can't watch. That haste was exactly what we didn't need. Can deal eight, I think. Fuck. No, man, no. I don't think there was a lot else I could do. Once I was, I think there was a right dungeon to enter, and once I was down that line, what actually finished me was just. Not having a a green mana over a white. It was close, man. Thought I had that whole game. Threatening the main. Yeah, threatening the main will sometimes do that, I suppose. It's a little rough. Sorry about that, I was playing around. Let's kind of reduce the, the pickup. So let's just do that. Is that that's better? Yeah, because it's not hitting the hitting the top now, so I think it lets me speak with a little bit more clarity. Cool. While we're waiting for a match, I guess I can pause it too. Sorry about this wait. Well, here we are. Opponent did eventually come. This is a great hand, so I will keep. I'm gonna go cleric class to whatever makes the most sense next. I don't think I need to trigger this initially, so playing Steadfast Paladin is probably better. Obviously as soon as I hit 4th banner I want to get this active because it can give us so much advantage. Okay, let's immediately stop that, but we are hitting 4th mana next turn. Okay, 
I've got about the treasure actually, I probably should have done that then, but that's fine. It's fine. Hit four of one and take a hit, give him some life. Maybe take another hit and then just explode. Seems fine. Go small this turn, just just chillax for a turn, brother. You don't need to do too much. No real pressure here. Can just be cool. Just return. Just you know, just do nothing much. I'm not gonna double block you, of course. Gain whatever life you want, that's fine by me. Certainly no blocking. Man, what's the play? This is what I want to know. Okay. Pretty good. I don't really want to be letting him have cards. So I'm going to do this now. Alright, I think I just go on next time. I just wanted to make sure, like, Soul Knife Spy isn't getting in. That was pretty irritating if it gets in. I can definitely take hits because I already have a strong life gain engine, but I didn't want Soul Knife Spy to hit me. So we took a little break out from the Cleric class, and we can pop it next turn and then go absolutely wild. Man is a, is a very deep thinker. He really likes to contemplate shit that's going on in his life. We'll just no block again. Okay. He ramps and enters which dungeon. The regular normal one, that's fine. Squire's top, so nothing changed. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's kind of what I was hoping for, so we can just like pop this, pop this, pop this. Do lose the treasure. Pop this. Yeah, no need to attack the opponent. Like, he can pump the Null, but I don't mind if the Null gets pumped. I'm mildly scared about what spells he has, but now we've got, like, now we've got Dritz for next turn. It's going to be pretty hard to stop us. And then once the Paladin can just force a double block, I'll just get straight in there. Okay. it's pretty strong. But our boys are going to dwarf that idiot soon. Not yet, boys are gonna chill. I kind of wanna let him kill Dritz and I can just bring it back with Cleric class, which is freaking broken. Yeah, Dritz can kill it on his own. That's nuts. Yeah, I think I'll I'll certainly do that, I'll just Dritz block the giant. Then bring Dritz back. Yeah, Cleric class is pretty bananas. We do like our life gain, that's for sure. <laughs> Two of my creatures can trip in hand as well, that's insane. Yep. Let's do the planned Fritz block. You pump? Right off. So I just pay five to get for its back. 
feel like he hasn't thought about this enough. That's why by me doesn't do anything. So it's just giga broken. Um Yeah, let's get this going even further. I didn't realize that was a legendary, but it doesn't really matter. We'll swing with this now. Our it can just do a massive block and burn all the cards or take an enormous hit, and doesn't even matter they're gonna life because of fucking shitload, so whatever you wanna do, bro. Okay. <laughs> you get to kill all their things. We'll pump this guy. That is broken. Now if Tritz ever touches them, they're just so very dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this certainly is one of the most absurd drafts that I've had. I'll be a little bit sad if it doesn't hit seven, but we've hit five with it and that's that's you know, it's nice. But let's let's take it the next two wins and maybe I'll reward myself by buying buying the Beholder pet. I've always thought Beholders were cool. I love that there was basically a Beholder in Big Trouble in Little China. That was just one of my favourite things. It looks really dumb in the in the film, but it's just really fun that it's there. I'm gonna keep this as kind of medium. It might get me killed. I'm gonna draw two drop like a boss. That's what I want to do. Draw to gain life or the cleric action card, whatever. Order monk. Is this guy very aggressive? Didn't really want to draw that, but we've got the priest. We've got some stuff. Draw a two or three drop, please, deck. Any kind of low drop. Maybe he's got the planeswalker because I don't think that card's very strong. I didn't draw a two drop. Draw a three drop or four drop then. I mean, we're really good to go. The reason I kept this was very good after next turn. We've got some really powerful drops. We're letting them get a bit ahead, but they skip their two, so that's good burst. And I kind of think this is like mulliganing in a in many ways. That's good, but it takes a while to turn on. So this stuff is all good because all they want is set up time. Because once I'm set up, we all know what's going to happen. Would I trade my priest for his monk? Nah, probably not. I think I can do better. It's quite his bottom. Got mana coming out the uh, to hoo ha. So we probably just drink some five. There's a little bit of temptation to do one of the others, but Drinks is obviously just so much better than everything else in existence. Nah, I'm not trading you. I, I doubt this will ever count to two counters. If it does, I don't care that much. Now this I care about. It's a pretty bad turn for... You can make it so it can't be blocked. It seem great, but fine, whatever, bro. Yeah, if he spends his turn doing that, I think I'm more than happy. Alright, that, that helps a little. Costs a lot. Definitely blocking you, man. You watch, I'll block. Like that. <laughs> Bam. Pre block. Come on. There's no way, man. No way. Do I want to play my ally and start at ticking first? Or do I just want to straight drits? This is too powerful. I think it'll push him too far behind too quickly. Just the raw, the raw output from it, damage wise, is really a lot. And he hasn't got anything that can take it down. He'd probably kill it, but he's also stolen mana. I 
Oh no, so he's missed drop. We're, we're only. Well, he missed one drop, but if he misses again, that's two, and then he's probably dead. I think Guild Thief is a little better than Monk of the Open Hand, because you can kind of combo with it, and it's, it's not bad. Um, especially if you get the first few counters. So if he played this on two, it would have been kind of sick. Right, he's done actually, yeah, just not dying. Seems valid. Yeah, you still can't kill Dritz though, and Dritz can kill you. So, yeah, let's just do it. Be a cheeky six damage, please. And I'll get myself. Do you fly yet? You don't fly yet, so this will do. What dungeon will we join? Yeah, that's a scoop. That, that's a bit rough. I mean, the guy missed a lot of land drops. It wasn't our fastest out the gates, but I'll certainly take it. And now we're on that bubble, just the one of the best of one for the for the total victory. I mean, I regard it as total victory anyway, but it'll be nice. It'll be very very nice just to just to get there. Inky boy, look at that crazed face. I'm gonna keep bringing that up all the time. It's, it's a little bit upsetting. Um, yeah, this seems good. I need a couple lands, maybe a cleric thing. We've got to be prosperous because he makes treasure. This guy's just so good. Okay, that was the wrong ordering, but fine, we'll take it. I immediately. I don't think I do. So it's a little bit tempting. Actually, I can just hand a vector and smash him. Let's we'll see what he does. He'll probably kill it though. Yeah, definitely don't do it to open mana. Let's go with for a card. Hit that mandrel, please. Okay, we do not hit that mandrel. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Might be an error. It's a way of hitting a land drop, but I don't love it. Okay, I didn't realize that was instant. That's that's a mistake. Oops. Might get punished now. Yeah, I really might. Fuck me. Why can I not get a land? That's horrible. Not like this. Two cards you can play him. Yeah, Valisin is pretty day. I'm gonna get done, and I'm gonna get done super hard. Yeah, there's basically no way around it. Land. That's fucked. Well, 
It is what it is. I mean, I had a really good time with the deck overall. I'm not going to dwell too much on this. It's shit. I wanted to get to seven. I've got the seven most of the worst decks on this, but I'm not going to. Not not this way. Um, I've missed my land drop. I, I think what I should have done is not cast the little guy and use this, but then I still want to use the priest, but I still want to hit. And like my opponents getting free shit here and there and everywhere and there's just no real possibility of achieving anything. I can get a 2-3 down on that even do. It kills them 1-1. One, one. He's trying to attack with that, he can pump the Valus and get it, and I can't kill any of the attackers. I could draw a land next to him and get Dritz if I survive. Even that one really... It's better than absolutely nothing, but it's pretty bad. This card's very good. It isn't uncommon though. Actually I can use the potion of healing, so maybe if my opponent kinda bricks off Chaos Channeler. So you can't block that's bad. Oh, and he has that as well. Okay. So the, I'd like the straight hits me as well, right? Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There. Uh, got a few triggers resolved there. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty nice though. Like uh, a crazy six and three, and I had great fun with this. And I only lost to some pretty nutty, crazy things. And the second win with this was the one of the craziest wins of my entire limited career, which honestly, let me tell you, it's many thousands of matches across Pro Tours, Grand Prix, and everything, and that was that was one of the craziest tennis matches. Let me let me look at the store and see about this Beholder. It does look kind of sick. 15,000, that's a lot. Look how cool it is, though. And the card back. I'm having a look at these other cards for but what are they giving you? Are there any new cards in the modern? I never buy these skin sets because you can earn them so much of the time anyway. kind of want this, but it's really expensive. See, 3,000 gems is 20 quid. So basically, this skin on sale is pretty much 20 pounds. And I know that I earn coins up over time, but I can buy a draft with that so I mean the 15,000 worth of so I think it's one brown. Let me check that. No, I can buy a draft and a half with that. But it is very cool. I think I'm going to leave it for now. My decision on that point, carry on. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.